Hello there, this is DBT and these are the Vrooms. And alright, let's continue playing some more Asphalt 8. And today, first of all, we're gonna look at what's right there at the middle, at the bottom, the treasure rush. Oh yeah, baby, it has begun again. Begun? Begun? Begun, I think that's the word. Um, yes, the treasure rush for the Kandex egg, yes, co absolute. As I mentioned in my new segment, link should be appearing at the top right. Um, this thing was gonna be coming in the 25th, and here it is, right on time. Now, you know what Treasure Rush is like, you know what are my opinions on Treasure Rush, however, there's a tiny bit of a caveat on this Treasure Rush, which I think it's interesting, and I hope it's true. If you go down here to this little symbol that is barely visible over here, you will be able to see what are your chances uh, to get stuff in the uh, in the whole thing, but what's curious is that in the Super Round, you'll notice that the Yesco Absolute has a drop, in theory, chance of 0.05188. And that sounds like it's tiny, yes, absolutely. But this is like three, maybe four times better than it has been before because it used to be 0.01 something something. So the chances are considerably higher. And I think that's, uh, I mean, le let's be honest. Still, it's gonna be a very, very tiny amount of people who will be able to unlock this thing for free. But the fact that the possibility is there and it's slightly higher, that means that a tiny bit, uh, a, a small number of people will actually be able to get this car, and it will be a slightly larger number than in previous runs, so that that's something. I'm not saying that this is a, a fantastic deal, you know, what are my opinions on a threshold rush, but it's there. Now, I have currently three dices because I claimed the free ones and I still have yet to claim the ones in multiplayer, but that'll be for later. I think what I'm going to do for this treasure rush is just save all of my dices and spend them all right at the very end and see what I can get. Am I going to be trying to get the absolute? Yes, through the super rounds. I'm going to be using my super uh, or ultimate dice in, in the super round and hope to get the absolute. But if you're wondering, hey, DBT, are you going to go crazy and pay a lot of money in order to unlock this card? No. No, 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 I only did that for the Staraton only because it was a Lambo, but this, I don't care enough about the car, I don't care that it's the king of kings, you know that I've never cared about amazing performance, I care about the cars that I like, and the Jesco Absolute is not a car that I like, so there is that. But anyway, the real objective of this video is of course continuing the progress on my Lamborghini Diablo. Now, where I left you last time with this car, I quote unquote tuned it for 1410 by just applying some upgrades at random, and now I will continue to do exactly the same thing. Now, if we look at my current tune, which we already tested, but obviously it wasn't great, we got it at 0051, and what we're gonna do now is apply some additional upgrades. However, I'm a little low on, on the kits for the car, but not to worry, because there's a bunch that I can get through the racing path. I haven't claimed pretty much, oh, you know what? Oh, I'll claim this, because I need it. Yes, uh, my 500,000 fusion coins, I'll take them, but uh, what I came here for was actually to get my Kits for the Lamborghini Diablo. And hey, hey, I try. Hey, thank you. Then this. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll claim all of them. At the end of the day, I'm gonna be needing them soon. So um, I don't think I'll I'll be making a single video for every single MP tune for this car. No, I don't I don't even think that. I, oh Jesus Christ! It's not claiming them. I don't even think I'll manage to, to successfully MP tune it for every single one of them, uh, for every bracket, but you know, we'll try to get whatever we can. Alright, there we go, and yes, it's a lot of kits for sure, but man, I need them, I need them, alright. So yeah, I think that was like 50, 60, 60 kits, let me check real quick. Alright, that was 60 kits, I just verified. So 60 kits plus another, or oh, no, 50. Ah, Jesus, I lost count already. It doesn't matter. Let's upgrade my car a little bit more. So, I did see uh, some of the suggestions for me to focus more on the exhaust. But, you know, I, I am just the type of person who, who, who does things in its own way. Whether it's a good one or not. So, I'm gonna upgrade a bit more the... Oh, but you know what? I don't have parts for more drivetrain. I just realized. Alright, fine. I'll do exhaust. I always wanted to do exhaust from the... <laughs> from the very beginning. Right, let's do a little bit of exhaust and see where this is gonna land me. Um, so, all right. Yeah, and again, this is what I've been saving my fusion coins for for a long time, so uh, while it hurts me to be spending my resources so, so willy-nilly at the same time, this is what they're there for, so might as well work on that, right? And actually, this is increasing my rank very, very, very little. It's not really increasing a lot. 
so maybe I'll have an opportunity to really go crazy with the exhaust. Is that, is that what you guys were asking me to do exhaust instead? Look at that, it's barely increasing anything. That's amazing. You know what? I think I'm gonna get, go get more of, of this exhaust parts on the racing pass. Because I'm so pretty far away from the next uh, from the next bracket, which would be 1500. So yeah, let me claim a little bit more of that. Ugh. I got scared for a second because I couldn't find them, but there we go. It's in page five. So let me claim this. And I don't know, maybe I'll need more than this. So are there any more? Maybe not. Oh, Jesus. Is there no more? <gasps> Was that all the exhaust that you were willing to give me, game? Really? really? What if I need more? Oh, you know what? I may still have some in my inventory. I've been doing my ad roulette, so let me check that. And just like the song is about to say right about now. I've come to a realization. I just remember I'm a, I'm a dummy. Um, so remember that I've always said that I've saved my direct upgrades for a reason. This is why. Because I don't need to spend that many parts into upgrading a car. What I do is I upgrade something to level 8. And then after that, the last two upgrades, which should be the most expensive in parts, I do it through direct upgrade. And that means I'm going to save nine kits right here and another 10 over here. So that's 19 kits that I saved and 19 exhausts that I also saved. So that means I get to do the exact same thing over here. Though, um, I'm at 1470. We could do some suspension, which would increase handling and nitro. Um, I'm going to risk it. Let, let me do another drive turn. Let's see where this takes me. So I'm at 1470. That's going to increase to... 87 so that was a 17 rank increment so i cannot do another one of this otherwise it's gonna take me over to 1500 so let me try with maybe a suspension i could do tires but the increment on top speed might be a little bit annoying so i'm gonna go for the nitro in the in the handling let's see wait i am at 1487 90 so that was a three rank increment three again uh, that was five. All right, that's as far as I'm willing to take it. So there we go. We kind of got around a tune of 1500. How is it going to perform? I have no idea, but we're going to find out. All right, and I found some Asterians, so that's going to be challenging because the Asterion is definitely a very strong car in this bracket, but we're going to see how this, this goes. My acceleration doesn't seem bad, I'll say that. Oh, boy. You know what? That's fine. This is fine. I'm gonna do a flat spin over here. Well, two, in fact. Because I want to make sure that I have enough nitro. Mm, look at this beauty. Oh, yeah. Man, I really wanted to have a Diablo so much. You have no idea. <laughs> the Diablo means so much to me. <laughs> I love the Diablo. And you know what? It's a, So far, it's not doing terrible. Then again... I should probably say that I have yet to see if they, my enemies are running triple booster or what. Okay, never mind. Um, I take all of that back. I'm no longer doing decently. I am now in second to last place. And actually, what, what is it? Third to last place? Something like that. Can I do this section? Am I going to mess it up? I don't know. Come on, let's go, let's go for a place. All right, what did, what did I learn from this? What did I learn from this race about this MP2? I have no idea. But everybody was triple tuned. Well, at least two people weren't. But the rest were triple tuned and my car was keeping up pretty well until it actually, you know, wrecked. But, uh, seems promising. Let me try another race. Okay, and now we're in Terra 9, so this might get interesting. Let's see, let's see. I think I saw another couple of Asterians. I'm surprised I haven't found a Mitsubishi Lancer just yet. But hey, it's very likely that I will at some point anyway. Y you know how this goes. You know how this is. So it wouldn't really be a surprise if I found one or two. All right. Yeah, I see some Asterians. There's again the W12. Let's go. All right. Acceleration seems okay. I'll say. You know? I mean, considering that this is classy racing and all of that, but I really think that this car, the Diablo as a whole, even in class, once I get it to Pro and I get it in class A, it's probably not going to have the best acceleration. But, man, the handling on this thing at Pro felt really, really good. I mean, for what I could play it in the... Oh, God, oh, Jesus. Um, from what I could play it on the free try in the... 
cup or whatever it was actually still up right i think so but yeah it felt it felt comfy and i really hope that 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 it's a really strong car not and i'm here i am contradicting myself about the performance of cars but i really want to have a proper powerful lambo in class a we don't have one i mean i think the strongest one that we have is the sc20 but if you know anything about me i don't like the sc20 it's a Lambo, sure, so I still love it because in the same way that a mother loves the ugliest son, that's me and Lambo SE 20 But the reality is... All right, well played, mister. Didn't try to knock me down. I appreciate you for it, man. Um, yeah, I, I, it's still a Lambo, so I still love it. But, you know, <laughs> I still look at it and I'm like, eh, okay, sure. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Sir, I respect you massively, Mr. So Cut, for not trying to knock me down at all. You know what? I feel really good about losing to a clean player. Because there's no, oh, he knocked me down. Oh, no. <laughs> and everybody was wasn't boosted. Well, no wonder why I got third place. All right. Last race to, to, to try this, this tune. All right. Here we go. We're in London. Some version of it. Ah, Jesus Christ. Sorry, buddy. And I fell on top of someone. Fortunately, I didn't knock him down. So that's that's it's all. Uh, everything is good with the world. Yes. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I, I'm not too much into performance of cars. Like I'm still gonna drive cars that are not great. Like the poor old Meneno. You know that is my favorite Lambo. Period. And yet it's not a good performer at all in Class A. Whoa! That guy did like six barrel rolls over there. Anyway, um, it's not a good car, but I still like driving it just because it's such a beauty of a car, even if it just gives me very, very, very mid res results. But still, um, but yeah, it would be nice to have a Lambo uh, to be pretty strong. Maybe, uh, all right, not Camaro Independence Edition strong level, you know, but something that is pretty strong. And for me to say, yeah, this is objectively the best Lambo. And considering that it's the highest ranked Lambo in this bracket at 1772, it should be. But I am a little bit concerned about that acceleration at Pro, but I guess we're gonna find out once I get it there. Don't worry, it'll happen. I really, while I'm testing right now some MP tunes for the car and whatnot, this is just for for the lows while, while I'm upgrading the car. The reality is that I am gonna Pro the car one way or another. So that is all but guaranteed. All right, my Lambo looking nice, getting a second place. At least I'm not losing too many points, I guess. And all right, that, that, uh, even a Bentley Continental GT3 beat me. All right. Yeah, I think this car is not fantastic with this MP2. It's fine. All right. Let's continue the progress of, of upgrading this thing. Now, I I got me some extra suspension from the from the racing pass. I actually didn't need that many, but oh, well, it's fine. So we're going to do the same. We're going we're gonna to take it to the 8 uh, and then apply to direct upgrades because in that way I save a lot of parts. I'm probably going to end up with some extra kits, but it's okay. Um, and that took me to 1515. I think I may just straight up skip the 1590 bracket on this car because that bracket is just kind of dead constantly, so it's all right. All right, so let's apply two direct upgrades over here and instantly. Oh, you know what? I'm still in. Oh, never mind. I guess we are going to do that bracket because I thought I was going to get past it by doing this, but I didn't. So that's that's good, I suppose. All right, so 75. So I have 15 points to... to Well, technically, 17 points. That's what I said. Okay, whatever. 75 to 79. That was four points. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I cannot do a uh, last one on this. Um, I guess we're going to do a little bit of tires, but I'm still worried because that's going to increase my top speed. It's gonna be an increment of two kilometers, so that's gonna be like four points. I think this is gonna take me right at 59 or 1591, maybe. Oh, come on! <laughs> um, amazing tune, DBT. Absolutely killer. All right, as I said, we were gonna just <laughs> ignore completely 1590 because I may have gone one point above, so. I didn't want to do it anyway. Who cares? <laughs> I'm not worried about it. You're worried about it. Okay, so 1601. 1608. And I could finish this. Alright. 
I have what? 72 points to do, right? Let's do this one. 1608. 16. 26. That was a 10 point increment. Jesus. 26. 35. How much was that? A lot. Uh, well, wait. 26 to 35. That's 9 points, right? Huh. 35. 52. Oh boy. This, this one's scary to me. It's gonna be like 20 points or something. Please don't mess it up, GVT. Please don't mess it up. 68. Oh, we're so fine. 68. So that still means we have 12 points. But I'm not willing to do one more on this. I think that one absolutely would take me over. So, 68. 76. 68. That was say eight, 8 points. Yeah, I cannot do another one of this. Or it's gonna take me over. Okay, we found this, the next tune. Is, we're... Well, you know, a little bit under, um, but I'm willing to try it. Let's see how it does in this one. All right, so here we go in Tokyo, long race. Let's see what my 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 Diablo can do over here. I don't know. Maybe I should name this this video "Terrible MP Tunes with DBT" or something like that. You know, well, at least the acceleration was decent. I don't know what is that car that was right next to me. It also sounds like a V12, but I don't know what it is. Um, but that would inform me a little bit as to how good or bad this this car accelerated. I'm gonna go for a flat spin if I can. My game just froze! Of course it would do that! Oh, I love you, emulator! I love you! Jesus Christ! Sometimes it's like... The game doesn't love me. I do love you, game, but you don't love me back. Alright, let me find another game. Man, this bracket used to be so lively, and nowadays I, I found only three more people to play with in this bracket. What's happening? Game Love, we need to bring back the players. Come on. We need more free cars to attract them back. I really I really believe, and I actually have been asking people in, in the Vroomy community, what what are they what are their thoughts on, on why the game is I don't wanna say it, but I'll say it. Why the game is slowly dying, you know? I mean, it's not that it's... <clears throat> it's not that it's dead, but man, it is a little bit concerning. Like I said, these brackets used to be... This one in particular, the 1860, used to be so busy all the time, so many players. In fact, I used to kind of hate this bracket because you would encounter so many toxic players in this bracket so very often. And... Um, oh, that was the Nano Flow something something, right? Anyway, um... But now, I really have been... Ooh, I think the Diablo wants to climb walls. Oh no, is this a wall climber? Oh no! Lambos are not wall climbers, but this one seems like it wants to. Anyway, uh, yeah, this bracket used to be very, very busy all the time. I would encounter a lot of toxic players. Now I don't even encounter players. That's a bit of a problem. Four people in total in this bracket. Okay, this rift is nice. I'll say that. Let's go, Diablo! Now, as much as I love this livery, I might take it off from time to time because I would like to see also the card in other colors. And unfortunately, this livery can only be used with yellow. I wish you could uh, mix and match it with other colors. There are some liveries that allow that because this would look perfectly fine with the red and the other colors. But oh well, it is what it is. We finally win, won a couple of points and I did beat a, an Aventador Coupe. So that is something. All right, I'll take that as a, a bit of a W, I guess. But yeah, like I said, I've been pondering about this whole thing and asking people what do they think. And I do believe that there's there's something to be said about not having uh, free cars anymore through the um, uh, th uh, through the uh, the terminology, the festivals that are not festivals anymore. The 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 car hunts. I think the car hunts being able to get the car for free was a big deal. And nowadays, technically, you can get a free car in the car hunts anyway, but they're all class D cars. I think what, I, and I mean, I'm just, oh god, I'm just talking out of my rear, but I would, I would imagine that it would be a nice thing if Gameloft added, um, okay, I understand that Gameloft doesn't want to give you the cars for free anymore, the, the, the cars in the car hunt for free, but how about this, how about a middle point, uh, yeah, okay, don't give the, the, the car hunt for free, the, the main car of the car hunt, but stop giving just class D cars. Start giving some uh, uh, different, you know, different uh, stages, I guess. Um, maybe this car hunt for for a class A car will have a class B 
Uh, maybe not a great car in class B, but a car in class B for you to get in the free lane. And a car hunt for a class class B is gonna give you a class C. Something like that, you know? So there's a little bit more variety because so many cars in class D, who needs so many of them? And honestly, a lot of people are not gonna be interested on that. But anyway, in this race, I did get a W against a Lamborghini Aventador and a Cayman. You know what? It actually seems to be performing quite all right. Let me try one last race over here. Now, obviously, what everybody would love to see is for, for the car hunt to be given also for free, not only on the, on the premium lane. I get that. But I think the incentive for that has changed. I, I, I understand why Gamelock doesn't do it. And that just has to do with how the, the car hunts nowadays, um, while we say in a very justified way that they're very much the same as festival, there's a little bit of a difference um, in terms of how the, the car hunt is more focused towards upgrading the cars. And there's not so, so much incentive to, to... Okay, where I'm going is the car hunt cup. You know that car hunt cup that we got the free try where you can get 300,000 uh, fusion coins? If they also gave the car... Uh, wait a second, but that's a free try now that I think about it. Huh. No, then never mind. I don't know. I was going to say that if you get the car for free... Oh, Jesus! Alright, that was my bad. I took that ramp way too low. Um, if they gave the car away for free, then you would be, have easy access to that cup, and that's not ideal. But no, you always have access to that cup, so never mind. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. That Remember that I always make up stuff, so... <laughs> don't take what I say too seriously. Um, but yeah, anyway, it would be great if we got the, the cars for free, but I understand if Gamelot doesn't want to give every single car like that for free. To be fair, cars like the Monza, the current car hunt, it's a very good car, so... They don't want to give it away for free. They, they're like, no, you want a good car, you got to pay for it. That's what you got to do. And, well, ooh, got my rewards. So I guess there's a counter argument about, you know, um, hey, you can still buy a whole bunch of cars for fusion coins and you can get a, a bunch of fusion coins by just watching ads anyway. So there's definitely ways to get the uh, cars for free, but probably just not the best one. I said that and there's still some really crazy cars that are way stronger than they 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 ought to be and for some reason they're still easy to access so i don't know i don't know what to make of all of that so all right i think it's time i think it's time we need to finish this car yes except that i ran out of kits for my diablo well actually you know what i can just finish this by applying two of this but yeah i'm short on kits for the diablo huh i need what uh seven and eight. Oh, you know what that works great because i can just do some conversions oh no but i can only do 10 i forgot i thought i could do 15. ah damn it well we're not gonna pro this car today because i still gotta wait another 24 hours unless nah i'm too far away from getting kids for the car so i can get a bunch of kids over here that i will anyway but they, they will kind of go a little bit to waste um, yeah, I can get some kits here, but as you can see, I haven't done anything in the special event and you might be wondering, Dimitri, why haven't you made any progress on this event? Because I'm in no hurry. I know that I'm going to be able to unlock the, the Evo, so right now I'm not stressing myself too much uh, about it, but yeah, it is a bit annoying that because of that, I won't be able, I'm going to be like five kits away from, from being able to pro the car. Ah, jeez. Well, I'll convert what I can for now, but again, I'm going to be short. Yeah, because I need in total, you know, I'm going to be four kits away from throwing the car. Because I had one kit, and then I'm going to get another 10 over here that's going to be 11. And I need 7 plus 8. That's 15 kits that I need. So yeah, I literally, I'm going to be short kits. Sh I'm going to be four kits short from throwing this car. Well, you know what that means? That's going to have to be in another video. I mean, to be fair, the actual upgrading, I will just do it off video, and I will make... A video on this car doing a protest, a proper protest, because man, I've been so eager to try it out. Alright, look at look at this frustration. Apply. Uh-huh. And yep. Four kits. Four kits in order to take it to level eight. Because again, after level eight, I'm just gonna apply two direct upgrades and be done with it. And this is what I, I kept saying as to how I use my direct upgrades. Um, I don't just, like right now I have enough to fully upgrade two class A cars, right? Yeah, you can just do it and I'm still gonna have some, what, eight additional, um, direct upgrades to use. But I don't wanna use it like that, instead, I'd rather just use eight 
to apply it in the last two upgrades of each one of these. And that is literally going to save you half the kits and half the parts to, to upgrade. Because obviously, upgrade 9 and 10 are the most expensive. Like I said, just from level 10, you need 10. From level 9, you need 9. So that's 19 kits that you get to save. 19 times 4, that's going to be 76 76 kits that you're gonna save out of 160 it's ever so slightly under 50 percent ever so slightly so it's a lot of saving that you can do in that way and that is why i don't just splurge my direct upgrades instead i use them for the long run for me to 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 upgrade more cars because having 80 of this that means i can do the same thing for another 10 cars over time and i'm gonna save a lot of resources doing that but anyway that is just kind of the way that i do this type of things with the upgrades and there you have it the lamborghini diablo gt frustratingly not at pro yet but i'm getting close soon soon it'll be pro and i promise i'll make a video about it if you enjoyed this video you know what to do hit the like button all of that remember that if you want to get a heart and a pin you need to leave me the key phrase of the day which is gonna be the diablo should allow different colors with this livery First person to post that is going to get a heart and a pin. Everybody else that posted afterwards is just going to get a heart. But that is going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit like button, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye. Mm,